this matchup quite a bit. Yes. Um, Rafi does not, um, but he will. He has said on Twitter, and I quote, I'm sticking to just Cloud, forget all my secondaries. I'm just going to grind it out with Cloud. Said that he's going to try and dabble with Fox maybe in the future. See. But not now. But not now. I, li I like the mentality of sticking to your main because it, sh it just goes to show that all of your proficiency behind that character is what you want to dedicate your time to, and yeah. I like that. But Unless you main a low tier, don't do that. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do that. But the idea of having other characters well trained because this is a multifaceted competitive game, right. you need to be ready for certain matchups, and especially against certain people who struggle with matchups. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that Vinny would struggle against Fox or Bayonetta, but right. those are characters who could certainly alleviate a lot of the pressure that Vinny is more well known for, because this in particular is a matchup he is very well versed in. Absolutely, and it's a, uh, a matchup that Sheik mains in general do actually like quite a bit, despite the fact that obviously there's the uh, uh, age-old uh, Sheik joke that she can't kill. If there's one character that she does end up killing relatively early just due to the fact of how good her edge guarding is, it's Cloud. Um, and despite the fact that, again, Cloud does kill incredibly early. A lot of time, the safety of um, Vinny's options and Sheik's options in general are just so difficult to bypass. Believe me, I played him earlier today, and um, it, is, it is hard to catch this man. Though, Ralphie's showing a lot of bravery in the face of danger as he's willingly open to reposition himself in front of Vinny and even charge limit while Vinny is just standing right there, so. I love that perfect shield from Ralphie coming out, grabbing the fair immediately, knowing how unsafe it is after you get that perfect shield. He's gonna throw Vinny off the stage, however, Vinny doing the same right back and forcing Ralphie to burn the limit. Oh, and he just barely uh, shimmies his way to that ledge. Excellent movement by Ralphie right now. He's recognizing that this is a very dangerous situation, however, it's a very doable match if he plays his cards right. However, Vinny looking to squash those dreams before anything comes out of it. Ooh, and almost dies at the top there is Vinny. Cloud's dash tag, always very deceptive. It always looks like it's going to kill off the top. Never really does. Um, but definitely a scary move just because of how quick it comes out, and you can't really react to it. So definitely kind of spooky with how strong that move is. Lots of power shielding from both sides as both of these players start to move back into the air. Ralphie sitting at 113%. Luckily enough, able to come back to the ledge, coming onto Vinny's shield, but... Vinny gonna be eating that cross slash. Oh, and actually he is not, but knows that his jabs are negative. He is gonna be able to up out of them immediately, and Rafi will be able to take stock number one. Rafi air dodges into the platform, drifts away, and gonna get out of the way of that up air from a... Uh, oh, that's a classic. The Vinny vanish. So good. So good. Um, obviously, more well known off of F-Tilt and off of um, F-Throw back in the day. But right now, doing it off of up throw, knowing that Ralphie is scared, trying to air dodge, and oh, this is a scary spot right now without a jump. Oh, we caught him! Oh, he's gonna have to back air. Tried to get maybe a stage spike or just force him against the uh, side of the stage, so he would have to go above it with the up B, uh, to no avail though. Yeah, Sheik's Nair putting in work for Vinny right now, able to build up amongst amount of damage off the ledge. Not really committing to too much. Vinny able to keep a good amount of distance away from Ralphie. And his Needle Storm, while not fully charged up, he has enough that he's able to put out a good amount of pressure to Ralphie. If Ralphie can get his boots back on the ground. And he will. And as soon as he does get those boots back, he does do a dash attack. And now does the down or down air to reset. Vinny DIing in. So he's going to allow it to get not quite a tech chase, but be able to shield an aerial as soon as Vinny comes back to the ground and grab him once more. Up throw from Vinny is going to set up for 50-50. However, excellent DI SDI from Ralphie. Going to keep him alive at 119. And... Ralphie's sitting on this limit. He hasn't had a good opportunity to use it. However, the down air going to be getting back on stage, but he's going to burn his limit on the limit cross slash that's going to find oh, no target. And that actually beat the startup of the down air right there. Vinny's up air coming out just as that down air came out, and it ate up the hitbox before. That he was could messy. Touch him, and he ended up taking that stock and will take game one as well. Um, definitely super close game to start um, when it came to uh, that set. And Rafi, I think, is going to be looking to go right back to Town and City. I can see this set going there. Yeah. If this ends up going to a Game 3, I can see Game 3 bringing us there. Yeah, I know both characters do like the stage. Obviously, the Blast Zone is very good for Cloud, and the FD portions of the stage very good for Sheik. So, definitely, I think, an even uh, playing field here for both of these characters. And I imagine that Vinny may very well have banned Triplats. Alright, Ralphie gonna opt for the uh, high recovery. Doesn't want to interact with Vinny, just wants to get himself back up. And because of the Needle Storm, Ralphie has to use his limit. However, he manages to go through the Needle Storm. 
hit Vinny, gets himself safely back on st stage, and both players looking at very similar percentages right now. Ooh, and uh, an air by Vinny, gonna get caught by the cross slash from Ralph, gonna help him build a bit more limit, catches the nair on the dash in. He's back to the ground with the fair, Vinny purpose shielding it, knowing that that fair is gonna come out, and he's gonna get the up air and take the stock. All right, a lot of momentum behind Vinny right now. And he just needs to take one more stock off of Ralph so he can get himself into winner's finals. That's going to be a re-grab and a whole 29% already for Sheik. Definitely a good position for her to be in. Wow, an amazing spot. That's knowing that grab's going to come out immediately on the landing. And 48% already on Ralphie. Looking not great for him. And with uh, Vinny at 104 and Ralphie without limit, he's going to need to smash that to take the stock at the moment. Unfortunately, Ralphie's play is starting to look a bit more predictable with how he's trying to control the base platform against Sheik. A lot of his options being very rudimentary in how he's just looking to grab pressure in the same spots, get things towards the ledge. However, Vinny's keeping his distance. He's forcing Ralphie into these unfavorable situations. Personal DI, though, is going to be giving Ralphie yeah. the stock that he's been looking for. The back air from midstage, Vinny not ready for it as it was coming down on the landing. And is going to allow Ralphie to take that stock. Does the author tries to catch Sheik on her landing? Oh my goodness, and on the rollback, Ralphie does a media up air and gets two. Another one for it. Potential more damage. 53, basically evening, evening up this game and almost the potential to take a stock here very soon. Owen doesn't have to waste his limit to get back. His jump still intact right there. And they're going to be throwing Vinny off stage. However, he's not met with the up air. Vinny looking to get these double jabs into the down tilt for some sort of follow up and reading the aerial movement gets a bouncing fish. And the loss of limit for Ralphie. Super unfortunate for him. Reads the air dodge, waits for it, and then reacts immediately with the up air. Takes a stock. Vinny will be taking it over Ralphie 2 0 and moving on to winner's final. Putting in solid work with that up air. Oh, yeah. Cleaning up in the air. Going to be waiting off in finals against Mr. E. Mr. E indeed. And I can't imagine if there is one time tonight where Mr. E does not go cloud, it'll be the set. That's a pretty um, good call. Yeah, I think that uh, the Marth will likely be coming out. Martha Lucina, I want to say... Which the Lucina. Yeah, Lucina. I know in the past, um, the buzz has given them the advice. Like, against Sheik, don't bother with Marth. Because you're not going to be able to outspace her a lot of the time to get the tippers. So just go for the raw damage, go with Lucina, and if you get a read, you're probably going to kill her more often than you are with Marth, because you're not going to be able to get the space with Mars. Marth. Ugh, Marth. <laughs> Marth. Hello, everyone. Well, fun fact, uh, Marth's original name was Mars, you know, after the... Uh, yeah. The, the Roman, Roman god? Roman god. Roman god, yeah. Yeah, planets are Roman gods. That's how I remember it. Um, the other ones are Greek. So if it's not a, if it's not a planet, it's Greek. Or it is... No, it's not a planet, it's Greek, yeah. That's how go. I remember it. There you go, that's what they teach us in school. Not how to pay taxes, what? not how to do any of that. Just planets. 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 And the Greek god and Roman gods. Thank you, schooling system. Thank you. We, we love we New love York education system. New York education system. We're both out of it now. Now we're Oh, yes, we're free. Well, I'm, I'm still in the schooling system, but not the New York schooling 